Now, what do you think audiences are really going to take away from Dear White People? I think that people have been, there's like a thirst in viewership for something that makes you a little itchy, makes you question some things that maybe you've said or ways that you've behaved. And I think that that's very necessary. And I'm excited about this film being part of a new change or a resurgence that's very necessary in film right now that people need to experience. I feel like it's not just okay to walk out and think, oh, that was good. I think that lives should be changed and brains should be activated when we see things and your heart should feel something. And I feel like Dear White People does all of that. Yeah. So to so do you relate what's what's what do you relate to your character the most? Um I guess like I know what it's like to be on a college campus and be one of the only people of color there. Um, I know what it's like to be in elementary and junior high school and high school and be that person. And so that I think um, I connected with the most. And I feel like people don't really talk about that enough. And um, yeah, I think that this film is going to expose a lot of things and get people's minds going. Yeah, I think that we should have like mandatory screenings on every college campus. Nation, worldwide, worldwide. Well, again, congratulations. What's next for you? What are you working on? I, um, I'm not, there are a few little things. I'm working on a short film right now called Ladylike, which I'm excited about. And Lena Waithe is producing that, who's one of the producers of Dear White People. And um, hopefully that sort of takes off because they're considering maybe turning it into a show. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. You're watching Black Tree on TV, only on Soul of the South.